Hi, what's up guys? Today I would like to show you my Episec deck profile. So let's go into the main deck. Uh, for the Episector monsters, I play three Melomadena. Uh, this is your main searcher, but unfortunately this card locks you uh, out of special summoning anything uh, for the rest of the turn except Episector uh, Pendulum monsters. So you cannot even uh, special summon your Link, pen, uh, link Episector monsters. So uh, the card design on this card is not the greatest, but it was made before the uh, links. So uh, I uh, usually just using this card. Afterwards, I go into the extra deck. Next uh, to superstar, this card is a big uh, beat stick, and also it can set you uh, every sector, uh, every script from deck to your side of the field. Uh, Next, for the three special summons, three curtain razor and three extras. Mm, for the extras to special summon, you your opponent needs to control a monster, but it's uh, most of the time not a problem because it's a uh, going second deck. Uh, next, three uh, wild hope. Uh, so this card can change the scale of your uh, other scale to level nine to scale 9, so you can special summon even the evil hill from your hand or extra deck. And this card is a bit stick, also if this card is destroyed it can search a card. So I most of the time I just de destroy this card for the super producer. Uh, next, well, Sasiro key. Uh, this card, uh, with this card I can make more stickier boards, because uh, this, this deck cannot really put up a, a big board going first. Uh, that's why I play this deck as a going second build. But if your opponent lets you go first, uh, you want to summon uh, as many monsters on, uh, on the field as possible. And uh, your opponent will have a hard time to get over all of them. Uh, next to Comic Relief. Uh, this card is mainly here because it has a high scale and also it has a similar effect to uh, generator generate transfer server where you can uh, f uh, switch one of your heavy sector pendulum monster with one of your opponent's monsters. Uh, next for the heavy scripts, heavy sector uh, spells, so three heavy sector death reversal, and for the heavy scripts, so this card can search heavy sector monster and also heavy sector script card but you can only activate this card at the start of the main phase. Uh, also, uh, I don't like the card design on this card because you cannot prosper it into it or draw into it, so um, that's why only I don't play prosper it in this deck. Next, uh, two mm, Abyss Crypt, Rise of the Abyss King. Uh, so with this card you can uh, pop uh, your opponent's card up to the number of uh, attack position every sector monsters. Uh, most of the time you have a bunch of them on the field so you can clear your opponent's whole board. And so this is also a really good board breaker. Uh, one heavy script, uh, heavy statement. This card doesn't have a really good uh, an activation effect but it has a really good effect if this card is uh, destroyed by the uh, fantastic theater because uh, if this guy is uh, destroyed face down but you can cheat out it with fantastic theater and you can change your opponent's uh, uh, activation to destroy one of your uh, back row so if this card gets destroyed you can special summon any number of heavy sector monsters from your deck and one uh, heavy script dramatic story uh, this card has a on activation pretty good effect to uh, target an abyss actor pendulum monster uh, and special summon a different one from deck. But also, uh, if this card gets destroyed face down, you can bounce two cards uh, back to the hand. So you can disrupt your opponent with it. And for the generic going second cards and ball breakers. 
uh, two Kaiju Slumber, two Gavin Seal, one Dogaran, and one Wonder King. Uh, so with these cards, uh, I can easily break boards, and uh, with Kaiju Slumber, I can special summon uh, also another big beat stick on my side of the field. Next, two Trust, and for the Trust targets, and also another uh, board breakers, uh, two Taunt, Change of Heart, Lightning Storm, and two Evenly Matched. And that's it for the main deck. In the extra, I play two Hyper Director, so with this, this is a Link 1, and with this card I can uh, special summon uh, uh, every sector monster in the, from the scale. Uh, two super producer. With this card, I can pop one of my uh, face up cards and place either a uh, fantastic theater uh, on my side of the field or uh, put a uh, every sector pendulum monster from deck to the back row. So uh, with this card, I can even place the Fantastic Theater uh, during my opponent's uh, turn. Next, for the generic links, Beyond the Pendulum, Exceed the Pendulum. Beyond the Pendulum is really good also uh, if, you are, if I'm going second to break boards and search another Pendulum monster. Exceed the Pendulum also gets me a plus one because it adds back a Pendulum monster from the extra and I can special summon it. Next, one IP Mascarina. If my opponent lets me go first, this is one of the ways that I can end on a interruption. One Espiel Knight and one Dark Nightmare Unicorn. Uh, access Code Talker. So with these cards, I can. Uh, if I'm not locked into uh, every sectors, I can go into dark and either go into Esplit Knight or Unicorn to clear my opponent's uh, cards and back row. And with Unicorn and one other card, I can go with Access Code Talker to have a uh, card that can deal with my opponent's field and also it's a big bit stick. Appalooza, I rarely go into it going first because it it's uh, really hard to summon this card in this deck before I'm locked but uh, if my opponent uh, if uh, during turn three if I have a bunch of monsters on the field uh, I can just turn them into Appalooza and play safely from there and one underworld is to clear some problematic cards from the field uh, one Typhoon and the last card is uh, one Skyless Angel because all of my main deck monsters are darks and they have different levels so I can make mm, this card with uh, for example Comic Relief or with uh, Superstar or with Mel Madonna. and that's it for the uh, extra deck and deck profile. Let me know in the comments what do you think about this deck, what would you change and what other deck profiles you like to see. Thanks for watching and see you next time.